it's obviously a great, it's a great way to finish the season off. Um, it's an exciting day to be involved in. Um, I think we done it uh, well, last time we probably played Judgment Day Scarlets. Last game of the season that was, um, and that day we got a great result. So hopefully we can do the same again this week. I think we could. Um, obviously, there's a few of us that were involved in that day. Um, it's probably just picking out experiences in your career. It's the same sort of thing, really. Um, you, know, you learn things from those days. Um, you know, the whole occasion, things like that, and how you deal with it. Um, so yeah, I think there would be lessons that you can take from those games. Um, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of lessons that players from this game will take for future games to come. It's, it's been up and down. Um, you know, the start of the season, we had some good results against uh, Ospreys and Munster. Um, and then it's we feel like we're not far off it, um, but then we're sometimes our own worst enemy. Um, we've been in some tight games, and we'll have to learn from those games. Um, and there's, there's also been games we've been very disappointed with with performances. Um, so we should all make sure we learn from these. Um, and look, enjoy the off season. Um, look back at the season, make sure we learn from it, and reflect on it. And we got a great opportunity with the pre-season we got to put some of this right um, and take a step forward. Um, so yeah, it's quite, it's quite exciting, really, um, because there has been plenty of positives, um, but like I said, results haven't quite gone away. There's been, in, there's been tight games where we haven't quite pushed on. Um, there's been moments in games, even just most recently, we got back into the game to 26-19 on the weekend. Um, and we got tackle line on the 22, and it's those those moments um, we didn't make sure we capitalised on those, and you know we're competing with one of the best teams in the league away from home um, for 60 odd minutes. But it's just that finishing, the bit of accuracy that leads us down, um, and that's the frustrating part because we know we can compete, and we know we're in these games. Um, but it just slips away from us from silly errors or and piece of accuracy or discipline in recent games. Three seasons are always the same um, and this year I think we got three of them um, in total. So uh, yeah, if it, like I said, it's it's time to have a break. Um, make sure we enjoy your off-season and with families. Um, and myself, I'm getting married in the off-season so looking forward to that. Um, but it's coming back on day one, ready to, with an open mind to learn our lessons and First step in the right direction, um, moving on to uh, the new season in well, October, I think it starts. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's, it is exciting. Um, we've got a lot of work to do between now and next season, but also time to rest up and uh, recover from uh, what's been quite a tough season. It's very different. Um, it's the definitely longest pre season I've ever done. Um, but I think, obviously, it's in the hands of like the SNC, um, Dai, the rugby coaching staff, the f physios. I've put a clear plan in place. Um, like I said, we'll have our off season, uh, we'll have a few weeks to rest and recover. Um, and we'll probably break the game down into small areas. Um, and it gives us time to really d dig deep into our game and how we want to build it and move it forward. Um, so, like I said before, it's, it's exciting um, to put that game together and hopefully we can come back a lot better next season.